So when when you go through this show on on the weaving, on the basket making, what I want you to to do is to look at the knowledge, the skill, the wisdom that is that is in the making of these baskets. And so often in my life, what I've always heard people say is um, if something is complicated, they say, oh, it's not basket weaving. And, you know, implying that basket weaving is simple and easy, and, um, but it isn't. It's, it takes tremendous amount of preparation, of training, of skill, as I said, and of knowledge. And so, for example, if you look at the baskets, I... Um, and I and as I watched basket weavers, um, I wondered how did and that, and when I wa when I've looked at the baskets of some people who are learning, and their their baskets are uneven, and so I was asking my mom once, I said, how do people keep the line straight? Why? Are they even? I didn't know, really know what she was going to respond with, but she said, "It's in your thumb. It's your if you know." She said, "You're guided, you you're guided by your thumb." And I mean, that's the last thing that that I was I was thinking about. You know, what would make something straight, and um, and so. You know, to be aware of that, to be that aware of how your thumb guides the, the, the tension and the straightness and, you know, and to hold things that, in that way. The other thing is that uh, when I look at the complications of baskets, uh, one of the other things that I learned was oftentimes people rarely left a basket. Like they started a basket and they finished it, and I was thinking, oh my God, you know, like that was that's a lot of hours, you know. It you learn how to treat what you're doing with such respect and care, and you know that it's greater than yourself. It's um, it's uh, a, you know, it's part in, connected to the spirit of the cedar. It's in the spirit of the the cherry and the pushtin, and um, so it's all connected with that and the and the energy that people carry when they're doing the work they do, the gift of the water, you know, that's used when you're making when you're in order to be able to get to the the cedar root to be just the right pliability. The other thing that I learned that I thought was really valuable is that the people always work to the best, best of their ability. And, you know, so that things were, were done with such care and evenness. And, um, but one of the things that my mom shared with me, she said, if you look at a basket and it's, and it's so beautifully crafted, so beautifully made, she said, if you look carefully, you'll always find um, a mistake. She said, then those were there, put there deliberately. And it was to make sure that people always remembered their humility and their humbleness in, in the things that they did. And um, I just thought, you know, there's so much that we can learn from just from looking at these basket, baskets and and how they were a part of, you know, a whole people's um, lives.